Principle number six is slash chords. Now a slash chord can be any chord with a note other than its root note in the bass or as the lowest tone, okay? And those chords are delineated when they're written down as the chord is written on the stave as say G slash and then whatever the bass note is will be the second um, letter after the slash. So you've got the chord slash then the bass note will be delineated. And of course, I've given you charts of these things too. Now, let's qualify slash chords in two different ways. A slash chord can also be a triad chord that is an inversion. So in other words, a chord that doesn't have its root note in the bass. I'll give you an example of that real quick. A G chord on the fretboard here. Now we can see our G note is in the bass, so this is a root position. Now, if I move and just have this B note in the bass, that would be called G slash B, because B now is my lowest tone. So chord inversions are delineated as slash chords as well. So they're not complex chords. It just means that that simple chord has a note other than its root note in the bass. So G with a B bass. It's still a G chord, just has the B in the bass and will be written as such, so G slash B. Now, another way of looking at that is you can have more complex chords with other notes in the bass. For example, we could take something like an A chord, okay, and I could put a G in the bass. Now, does the G typically work in the context of that triad, the A chord? No, it's not in there, but we could put it there as a slash, and it would sound like that, okay? So we've got A, I've got an A with an F sharp in the bass, and you can hear the principle. So that would be written A slash G, or A slash F sharp. So you can see that there are two ways that you can use this. They're in chord inversions, triad inversions, or sevenths, all right, that are inverted, or other chords that have a different bass note, all right? Now let me show you a couple of variations on the fretboard so you can get the sound of them. I'll delineate how those are, would be numbered, okay, or written out. And then, of course, we'll look at that in chord vocabulary as well, and I'll give you a bunch more. So here's a, a couple of options or a couple of examples for you. This is a D major triad with a G bass. And it sounds fantastic. It's a great slash chord. Now, that would be written D slash G, all right? So G with, a D with a G bass. Here we have an A chord with a D bass. Okay, and that would be written A slash D. Here we have a D chord with a G bass, and that would be written D slash G. So I'm just giving you a clear picture of how when you see these things, you know that the, the chord is first, the slash, the bass is always the second letter, and they're either inversions or other chords with a different bass note in the, in the root, the lowest note.